What is up everyone? This is your boy Relentless Rider and today we have a special edition. We are going to review this big sexy motherfucker. This is a uh, ZX14 2008 special edition. She has a couple of uh, updated features and some performance mods that I'll go through with you. So without further ado, let's ride this big boy. Listen to her purr. Well, I'll show you the lights too. They upgraded LEDs on the front, LEDs on the back. Let's go for a ride. Now, I've had a lot of motorcycles in my life. A lot of bikes. Watch it, dude. A lot of bikes. This one ranks right up there at the absolute top of the pile. So, this is a 2008 ZX14. She's got a full Kaufman exhaust. She's got a Power Commander 5. Um, Air intake is modified. Oh, and a flash. Uh, and I think she also has a retarder on her too. So you get the full acceleration out of every gear. Gosh, she's fucking amazing. Just amazing. So this review will be more of the emotional feel of the motorcycle. There have been 3,000 reviews that talk about specs and, and power and acceleration. Spoiler, she's fast as fuck. But this is about the emotional feel of riding this particular motorcycle. And each one of my reviews on bikes will be about the feel of the bike. Not necessarily the acceleration, which it's a motorcycle, they're all fucking fast. So this one in particular, this ZX14, um, I had a, an 06 and a 14. But this one is just, it's just special. So what this bike says to the world is, you don't give a fuck like you know you're the fastest thing on the road the only thing that's really probably faster than this would probably be a uh, H2 but to be honest with you how many fucking H2s do you see on the road I I've only seen probably one in my life and when you're comparing motorcycle acceleration I mean they're within a couple tenths of a second to each other so it's really nothing to even talk about but this bike says the world you know what I'm a bad motherfucker, and like I said, I'm, I'm 6'4", about 290 off season, so even someone as big as me, this will scare the absolute shit out of you. It'll give you an, uh, a rage boner, or uh, what do you call it, an uh, acceleration boner. Yeah, she's, a, she's an absolute freaking beast, absolute beast, comfortable. You can easily do a couple hundred miles on this bike in a day and not have any issue with it whatsoever because she's very, very comfortable. Let me pull in here real quick. The number one question I get is, how does she compare to the Hayabusa? And I've had quite a few of those. So I have to say, acceleration, stock for stock, I would say they are, well, damn near the same, but the ZX-14 is a little bit faster. The other thing with the ZX14 is she's a little bit twitchier. Um, the Hayabusa is a lot, I would say, smoother at the lower RPMs and lower gears. Um, this one wants to jerk your fucking hands off any chance it gets to. Um, Hayabusa is just a little bit, little bit smoother. Um, the other thing too about this ver bike versus the Hayabusa is uh, this bike is more comfortable. The riding position is a whole lot better. Um, this versus the Hayabusa. So. If you're considering going on any kind of a long ride at all, this is a much better vehicle for that. Now listen to this. Come on, man. Come on. She is just a fucking beast. Holy shit. Just a fun. I short shifted. I probably only shifted at, what, 4,000 RPMs? Now this fucker is absolutely a monster. 
So this bike is for sale. Most bikes that I review are for sale. Um, I'll put the link in the description to find the bike if, if you're interested in buying it. But uh, so I compare this to some other bikes, some very normal, popular bikes. R1, which I actually have one. Um, the difference in this one is more comfortable to ride. The R1 is not bad, even for a tall rider. But this one is more comfortable to ride. But at slow speeds, the R1 is like the tail of two bikes. The R1, anything under 6,500, 7,000 RPMs, it feels like a 600. And it damn near 300 pounds, a 600 is like a fucking scooter to me. It's, it's very slow and docile. But as soon as you hit over, let's say, 7,000 RPMs, it turns into an absolute beast. And so it makes it fun to drive around the city because you, you don't really have to worry. It, it feels like a big scooter. But damn it, as soon as you jump on it, it's a fucking beast. Now this is a wild animal all the time. It does, I'm, I'm in third gear, 4,000 RPMs. It, it just, it wants me, it just wants to go fast. It always wants to go fast. It never, never, never wants to go slow. So this one right here is a, uh, a ticket magnet. And plus it's loud as fuck. So watch your speed on a bike like this. I'm not gonna go flying around, you know, pushing the limits on the scene because I just got finished watching a video from Dan Dan the Fireman and I like his stuff. He, uh, he, he teaches a lot. He teaches you to think while you're riding a little bit more than most instructional videos are. So after watching his video, you know, I'm looking at distance ahead of me. I'm looking to stop in distance. There you are, buddy. What's up? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for the cars in front of me. I'm just, you know, a little bit more tuned in after watching one of his videos. And if you haven't watched his stuff, I would definitely suggest you do it. He uh, reviews people, crashes and things like that, what they could have done. Uh, sometimes you can't do anything, but a lot of times there's things you can do. So I, I'm not going to go flying around stupid because I just watched his video. Uh, what else about this bike? So I bought this bike um, used. I think it has right about 10,000 miles on, maybe a little over 10,000. Uh, the guy who bought it uh, first was 71 years old and I uh, met the guy, scared the absolute shit out of him. And I get it. I fucking get it. Um, so he put all these mods into it and then he just wrote it and he was just scared of it. So I got it for a good, a pretty good price. So I'm passing it on to whoever uh, decides to buy it. Uh, what else has she got? Um, all the original levers. I actually have the um, owner's manual and all the original stuff that came with the bike, like the uh, propaganda stuff, all this stuff that's arisen for the bike. Uh, the bike has never been dropped. Um, she's in great condition. I don't even think there's a scratch on the paint. It's a California bike. I had it shipped out to Georgia. Uh, what else about her? Well, I'm sure there'll be some more videos on her. If you have any questions, let me know. But, uh, just listen to that exhaust. Listen to that. Fuck, she's a monster. All right, people. Till next time, it's your boy, Relentless Rider, aka Happy as Fuck, riding this bike. I'll talk to you guys later.